you're sitting in this room, you're hardcore. You're hard. I don't want that to offend everybody that's in that room over there. Uh, careful, Z. Um, Y'all are hardcores if you're in here, and, and, and how, I, how I know that is seeing the dudes that were at the counter of the, the Hampton last night driving through that crap, I was like, all right, this is, this is a good group, I'm in, I'm in. Um, but the other side of, of that is the questions that y'all have asked uh, are, they're, they're very, very, very advanced questions, and that's exactly uh, what, what Bass U is. If the reason why a weightless stickworm is so good is exactly that. It's quiet and it throws, skips like a stone. And you know when you make a good one, you're like, oh, that was me. I was the one that did that. <laughs> Remember when I told you that I told my, you know, I, 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 I was talking to some folks. I, I make my kids sit down and tie knots in the house. I, I make them idle for aimless hours. The other thing that I told them is, you can throw a wacky rig under docks till the 4th of July. You cannot do it anymore. Why? Especially if they're biting it, Dad, because they will stop eventually. They will stop. Um, so Don't get me wrong, it'll still play a little bit, but what ends up happening is, um, and I'll get to that in a second. We're going to go to, to, to conditioning. Um, that's what this is about. This is going to be advanced dock fishing instead of throwing that weightless stick worm. Okay? The other thing, and this is probably the one I live with the most. Okay? This is probably the one I live with the most. Bill, let's go to the next page real quick. To me, that is one of the most powerful weapons on planet Earth. Back in college, here, here's, okay, all right, all right, back in college um, is when I was really fishing tournaments. Tuesday night, Thursday, Wednesday night, Thursday night, Saturday, Sunday tournaments. And I always wanted to know how, when you bounce a lure off a dock, how it affects a fit, you know, what, what, what is he doing when that, all that stuff happens? And I brought it into a whole different realm, and actually the Sturgis Journal up in St. Joe County, Michigan came out and did an article about this. I, I grabbed a snorkel one day, I grabbed a snorkel one day, and started snorkeling under all the pontoons on Klinger. You want to see old boy come out yelling at you? Okay? <laughs> Trust me. Um, so I started snorkeling on, and those docks are only, some of them are that deep, the pontoons are that deep, some are like that. And here's the amazing thing that I saw, is what I wanted to know, I wanted to know how far they were, their comfort level was with this fat Italian kid under a pontoon. With them. It was amazing how close they let you get. Okay, so the next thing I, I thought about was, I'm gonna bring my rod under, I'm going to snorkel, and I'll catch one. And it was amazing how easy it was. Easy. The next, this is where the newspaper came out, is I tied line to my hand, would get under, and I'd throw, I'd throw, it was a, a member of Fat Gets It, a little tube. I would throw a Fat Gets It up, and I'd set the hook on him and come out. There were the writers, I remember the guy's name was Bernie Banky. He would come out, take pictures, like, oh my gosh! Now, I did try to bring it to the next level and drop a night crawler and, and catch one. But I, that never happened. It, I, but I did touch one, but it never happened. But, but what it showed me, I have no idea where I'm going with this seminar, Bill. Um, <laughs> no, I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere. What it showed me was when you're pating, 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 pating. Ting! You're like, I messed that up. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. I have swam with the fish under there. You have not <laughs> messed it up. That's what I want to talk to you about. And the last screen, it said, the, la the last screen said, um, my breaking point is the 4th of July of when I'll kind of lay down the stick worm. I'll start to lay down the jig. Um, for the simple fact that now is when our fish start knowing our names. 
They ain't going to leave. They're not going to leave. It's when, you know, I was talking to, uh, to Jacob Porosnik. I shot a doc show with him. What ends up happening is um, the windows of the big ones get smaller a little bit, gets a little bit smaller. Don't get me wrong, when it get, the hotter it gets, the more that come to them, okay? But they've seen everything. They could tell you the stick worm you're throwing, not as much the half ounce jig, but they go into what I call, they go into around the 4th of July on, on, on our lakes, our lakes. They go into um, big time zombie modes a lot. Uh, there's a lot of lakes that we could fish and you'll hear these guys say it. Man, I only caught one good one. We got, we got a limit, you know, four keepers with one big one. But boy, I, I saw some big ones under the docks too. That's the ones we're after now, gang. Okay. And one of the deals that I started working on is this guy right here, okay? And it is a bear to learn this. It's taken a 4.75 inch rage swimmer, a, a standard paddle tail swim bait, okay? Anybody know my rivet trick? Anybody know the pop rivet trick? Welcome to Bass University TV, an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers Pete Gluzek, Mike Iconelli, and their talented special guests. From on the water to in the classroom, you'll learn sound techniques and strong fundamental bass fishing skills. Watch hours of video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee. Cancel at any time. Information is power in the sport of fishing. So learn from the very best. Subscribe to Bass University TV today.